Welcome to the Tepper School of Business Multimedia Series. For more information on the Tepper School at Carnegie Mellon, please visit us at www.tepper.cmu.edu slash multimedia. And now, here's your selected video. We have a course that is called Integrated Product Development, and it's a course that is collaborative, jointly taught, and actually jointly listed with other parts of the school. So it's also a, a design school class. It's also a, uh, an engineering class, and of course, it's a Tepper Business School class. Professors and students from each of these different areas are all involved simultaneously. Students are on teams, and professors are, are uh, advising all the teams. But taking a step back as far as thinking about uh, the context or the purpose of product development in general, uh, it's uh, you know, often to contrast it with maybe a case study in a class where the problem is well defined and the issue is to try to figure out not just what are potential solutions but what is the absolute best solution to that problem. With product development, the first step is to define the problem in the first place. And so we, uh, we have historically had company sponsors come and bring um, wider areas of interest. They might have selected an important target market. They might have selected uh, an emerging technology. They might select something that's, that's uh, wide open. And the first question is to say, well, how can we create value there? You know, a very broad open question of what, what are the needs? So def that's defining the problem to solve. Because once we recognize an opportunity, that can be feasibly provided for by a company, well, then we can develop many different solutions and the task is like a case study to choose the best of those. So that's what IPD uh, kind of at a very high level is about. It's about defining a problem of that, uh, or an opportunity for product and then executing that product as well. For IPD, we've uh, the disciplines that have been involved in that class are engineering and design. Now, uh, we as a university are really privileged to have leading business school, a leading school of design, and a leading engineering program. Not all universities can boast as much as we have here. So that's one, one element that, that puts Carnegie Mellon at the forefront of this type of education, is that we have the skills, the resources, um, the, the uh, educational programs to support it. This concept of a class that has multiple different uh, um, colleges all working together in product development is something that Carnegie Mellon pioneered. The class has been around, I don't know the exact year that we started, I'm going to guess around 18 to 20 years ago is when it started. We, uh, a couple of professors, uh, you know, Kagan and Vogel wrote a textbook for the class eight to 10 years ago roughly, and since about that time we've had sponsors, corporate sponsors coming in. So uh, the class is, it's both teaching process and it's application. And so there's a mixture there as well in terms of, uh, of objectives of teaching the students um, something that normally education is about, at the same time being all about changing the marketplace, which is what companies are all about. Well, outcomes for the students are, are really, um, I think it's outstanding for their education and for life experience. One of the outcomes is that it's, this is one of the few classes where we teach students how to define a problem. So many of our educational experiences will give them a case study where the problem's already fairly well defined. The focus there is to figure out how do I best make, what's the best solution? How do I make a decision? because business students and business people are decision makers and case studies are tools for that. And yet, so vastly important uh, for, for industry is opportunities, how to fulfill them, but how to recognize them. So that's creating that skill of defining the problem, defining the opportunity. This is a class, one of the few classes, uh, I think in any business school education, which gives students the skills and the experience in defining problems. So defining a problem is a skill. Another um, outcome for the students is, is collaboration with different disciplines. So as far as they work with other students from other schools, schools for design, school of engineering, and each of these students have probably 
different work styles, but they also have different skill sets. And so we don't, we don't have each student work and do what they do best and ignore the others. Everybody's working on the same, working together, even if you're not very good at one of the, out, like drawing, I, I can't draw. But if I were on a team, I'd be forced to do some drawing to start to learn to, you might think, ah, oh, what a waste of time, but it's not. Visual communication is powerful. And you start to learn with an expert who's a fellow student who knows visual communication and you start to see, even if you don't know how to draw in the end, you get to see the power and how that can be leveraged in the marketplace and you can see how to use that later in, in team environments or in business environments uh, later on. So teamwork and collaboration within, within a team is, is very important. And then there's, understandably necessarily, there's, there's some degree of conflict, but conflict can be very good. Because the conflict, you start to see each person has some different background or some different knowledge base. And the resolution of the conflict, they can bring that together and build something that's even bigger or even better than one person would have brought together. The students also um, get, a lot of, get quite a bit of exposure in that um, our, final, um, our final projects have been, uh, senior executives have flown in um, from, from corporate headquarters to, to watch this. We've had presidents, CEOs, and um, be able to present your work to the, the top level management is something that is very important um, experience to have. Part of the value of this kind of course is it's, it's real, and that means you're changing the world around you. So some of that can be the fun of seeing your product out on the road. Um, another part of that is the knowledge that you are actually impacting society. You're not just writing a paper which gets put in a file. You're doing something which is um, changing the lives of people that you've met.